Welcome back to the Sonic Problem Saga, and the fourth part is the demographic. Of course, which Sonic demographic should Sonic be aimed at? The demographic is aimed at the primary audience, whether it is age group, race, ethnic group, gender, and so on, for obvious reasons. And let's look at Sonic. Sonic has changed so many demographics over the years, and it's time for them to answer who is supposed to be aimed at for a Sonic series. Most Sonic developers say that Sonic is for kids. Why do you ask? Probably it's because the series has cute anthropomorphic characters. The characters are mostly colorful, or the gameplay is way freaking easy for the kids. I would say Sonic is not just for kids, and it is also for adults to enjoy the game. It's mainly because the game is very creative for kids, but it can challenge the difficulties for both kids and adults to collect or complete it as a reward. That's why I think Sonic is for everyone. Now let's look at the positive demographic of the Sonic series so far. The demographic still stays strong to the specific age group while buying the games and by the time of their release. Their quality Sega gets is more of a money for the fan feedback after they sold and played the newer Sonic title. If it doesn't sell well, it must be the advertising that wouldn't work very well or some false advertising, and, but it may not perform well. There are some negative things about the game and the sellings for the demographic. Well, let's check out. Sega claiming that it's for kids and whenever they write an advertising or put in characters or anything shoehorned onto the newer Sonic games every time would lead to the fanbase problems, mainly because of the missed opportunities. Even if they write a very dark story or something imaginative, and then they just forgot about it. They wouldn't use the darker themes. Probably they think it's too scary for the kids. Ugh. Uh oh, they should have known that a lot of kids shows and video games get some darker scenes and make it edgier and why did you cut it in the first place? I don't understand the concept. You think it's too violent for them or you think that it's a bad idea? Here is the problem. Targeting at the wrong demographic and advertise it not very edgy would not sell the recent Sonic games that well. Speaking about the demographic, you shouldn't trace people back to the nostalgia of pandering from the 90s. You should look at the games that are selling well and not the reception. Then you might lose your idea after all. Forget about it and going on a rehash nostalgia to please the fans. You shouldn't go back to nostalgia. You should look at how creative the fan base would have been to make a Sonic game looking good again. That's what I think about the Sonic demographic and how Sonic should be good again and avoiding one of these problems on my videos. So Sonic 12 Lexi signing out.